Tesco Insurance, £3,341. That is insane. So if you've just ordered a Tesla Model 3 here in the UK, you'll want to watch this video. I was searching for my car insurance ready for when I pick up the car in a couple of weeks, and I was shocked by how expensive some of the car insurance is. So I've gone through every website I can find, every comparison site to find the cheapest car insurance, and this is what I found. Hey, welcome to the channel. On this channel, I cover Teslas, I cover tech, and I cover business. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. Now, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go through every insurance website I can find to let you know what is the most expensive insurance for me and what is the cheapest. And I think we're gonna save thousands here because when I was looking last week, the most expensive insurance I found was about 4,000 pounds for me. I'm 38 years old, uh, I live in the UK, and that is just astronomical. I've had uh, a Jaguar F-Type before and a Porsche Boxster, and even cars like that were nowhere near as expensive as this Tesla Model 3. So I'm on a mission to find you the cheapest. I'm gonna make this a very quick video, so let's just jump into it. Okay, so when you first go onto Google and you start searching for Tesla car insurance or car insurance, you'll be greeted with some sponsored ads and namely some comparison sites. But it's important to note that not all insurers are on these comparison sites. So I'm gonna go through each one and see which is the cheapest. Okay, so I'm gonna start with compare the market ads. That's one of the biggest. I'm gonna start filling in my details and I'll skip through that because I don't want you to see that for every single one. But it's important to know actually when you fill in these details, make sure you are filling in the correct info. Like if you've got an underground secure garage, make sure you include that. If you've got no claims discounts, make sure you include that. All of these things make a difference. And of course, remember, I'm in Manchester. The crime rate is a little higher than the rest of the country. Uh, you may be somewhere cheaper. So these prices don't necessarily reflect what you might get. It all depends on how old you are, how long you've got your no claims bonus for, if you've got named drivers, where you park your car, all that kind of stuff. But what I just want to highlight is the difference in pricing and also maybe some insurers that you might not be thinking about that you can check out to get the cheapest deals for your Tesla. Okay, we're now receiving 33 quotes from providers. It is worth noting actually some insurance companies like the Meerkats here give you other benefits. Now, they're not always like really worth it if it's going to cost you hundreds of pounds more. But you know, I have done the Meerkats deal before and you get free cinemas on a Wednesday. So once we're out of COVID, that's actually a pretty good deal. I go to the cinema quite a lot. So if the prices are fairly similar, I would choose this if it, if it worked out like a good deal. Here are my quotes, annual. Churchill is only 389 pounds. That's really, really cheap actually. That's really strange. Uh, Bell, I've never heard of those, is 628. Admiral is 705. Um, 735. So Admiral did say to me they weren't on comparison sites, but clearly they are. We've got Elephant, Diamond, LV, uh, E, or LV, I'm not even sure if it's LV, LV, E, 900. Now if we go, let's scroll to the bottom, let's see what the most expensive insurance we can get is. Tesco insurance, 3,341 pounds. That is insane to insure a car just for one year. And that's with a compulsory and voluntary excess of 500 pounds each. So really really avoid that the cheapest one on this comparison website is churchill at 389 pounds i have heard from other people that churchill is one of the cheapest uh, it also says here you get up to 100 pounds worth of travel expenses so we'll go through and we'll see if when we edit that that makes it any different okay so now we're going to do confused.com and uh, it's just worth noting here actually um, when you go down to filling in some of these details you might see the option does the car have a tracker now I would check with each insurer on this one because technically the car doesn't have like a, a standard tracker as such, but you can track your Tesla on the app. You can see where your car is. So I've actually phoned a few insurers and you'll find that some will allow the app as the tracker, some won't, but that will save you a lot of money because it means that if it's ever stolen, the police can track it down straight away and you're likely to retrieve that car. Okay, so let's get the results from confused.com now coming in. And look at that, isn't that interesting? Churchill on here is more expensive than it is on Compare the Market, so that's very interesting. And if we go down to the bottom, the most expensive is Marks and Spencer's Bank, £3,383 for insurance. Who's paying this for car insurance? It's just insane. But again, it looks like Churchill, Bell or Admiral are the cheapest for me. So this one's interesting. I've gone to get a quote from Adrian Flux. Uh, I did have a friend who used them before and said they were really, really cheap. But you go to get a quote and you have to request a call back over the phone, which 
I'm not going to do today, but it's definitely worth doing. It might make it more personal, but I, I sometimes hate these kind of sales calls because they're going to try and talk you into stuff. So I know some people don't like that. I really think they should at least add a quotation thing to their website. I think it would really help them out. So unfortunately, Adrian Flux, you've lost me because I'm just doing internet searches today. So now we're doing LVE. Let's go through, get the results. Annual price, £1,274. That is really, really expensive. I think for a company that is claiming to specialize in EVs, that is, that is really expensive. That's at the top level that I've seen so far. So sorry, LVE, I won't be going for that one. Let's close that. Now, next up, what I noticed when I was searching for car insurance for the Tesla, on the actual Tesla website, um, there's a page that's called Insure My Tesla. Now, this actually links through to direct line. So I thought this might be um, a partnership they've done, or at least you can see direct line are trying to get these types of customers directly from Tesla. So uh, next up, let's go through direct line. Okay, so we've now done direct line and the price isn't too bad. The insurance price has come back at £779. At the moment, that is one of the cheapest ones. Uh, we have seen cheaper ones on the comparison sites, but they tend to change when you go through and add details and other drivers and things like that. So that's not bad. Direct line winning so far. Next up, Aviva. I'm from Norwich where Norwich Union was from and Aviva took over, so I'm hoping this is good. Let's go through and enter the details. Okay, so this is the quote, £2,652 a year. That is incredibly high. That is shockingly high. I would definitely never pay that for car insurance if I can get away with it. Uh, I don't understand why it's so high and why it's so much more than direct line. Next up is Zurich. So I've gone to get a quote and unfortunately they've taken off the quotation part of the website. It says new customers were currently able to offer new insurance quotes or policies. So. A little bit strange, but sorry, Zurich, you've lost my business. And Churchill. So Churchill was one of the ones which was cheapest on the comparison sites. What I'm going to do now is go through their website directly and click the link in the comparison sites to see what happens. Uh, and let's get some results. Okay, so the price has gone up a little bit from the comparison sites, but it's come in at £517. That is massively low compared to some of the other quotes we've had and by far the winner. So I'm just going to check Churchill on some comparison sites again uh, because sometimes you get an extra bonus if you get it through a comparison site. But today's winner is Churchill. That makes a big, big difference. So check those out. Let me know if that's helped you in the comment section below. When are you getting your Tesla? I'm getting mine in a couple of weeks time. So I'm trying to sort out the insurance now. I'm going to be doing a full review of my 2021 Tesla. It's the Chinese model as well. So I'm going to be looking over what's different there between the 2021 Fremont and the 2021 Chinese. Uh, I'm going to be doing the speed boost. I'm getting the black long range model and I'm going to be paying for that speed boost to take it half a second quicker. Uh, so I'll go into more details about why I'm choosing to do that. I know it seems like a lot of money and I might even do the enhanced autopilot. So thanks for watching. I hope that's helped you save some money. Let me know and uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more Tesla videos on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.